Breaking news, the Chicago Bears are reportedly trying to trade wide receiver Chase Claypool. Let's talk about it, people. What is going on, y'all? Fox Sports all back at it with another video talking. Of course, I'm going to here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, even though it is an awful, awful time right now to be a Bears fan, and uh, people should send a prayer out for all, all of us Bears fans. But I digress. The point is, if you are one, please do subscribe to the channel. Please make sure that you hit the bell icon to be notified every time I drop a new video as and follow me on my social media platforms. All right, so let's talk about this. All right, per Jay Glazer and other NFL reporters, the Chicago Bears are looking to trade wide receiver Chase Claypool. This comes on the heels of Claypool being inactive against the Broncos in week four, okay? We all know Chase Claypool was a healthy scratch in that game. But before I even talk about the report of Chase Claypool being on the training block and the Bears looking to move on from him. Let's just talk about the leadership or lack thereof with the Chicago Bears in handling this Chase Claypool situation, all right? Let me just lay it out for you guys. So Chase Claypool was not present with the Chicago Bears in their game today against the Denver Broncos. Even when guys are healthy scratches, they still come to the game and they're on the sidelines. And head coach Matt Eberflus said in his press conference that Chase Claypool was given the option, apparently, if he wanted to come to the game or stay at home, and he decided to stay at home. All right? That is something when you hear it, it's a red flag, right? You're like, wait a second. You gave him the option. First of all, why did you give him the option? But you gave him the option. He decided to stay at home. Really? Okay, I get it. But then we find out from a spokesperson for the Bears that... Chase Claypool was actually told to stay at home. So he really didn't have an option. And this is what I mean by the leadership or lack thereof with the Bears. We can't seem to get anything right at the upper level in terms of how to run and handle an organization. I know Chase Claypool isn't perfect, and I'm going to talk about him in just a second here and whether or not it's the right move to trade him. But... Can we just get some consistency and leadership in this building? That's one of the reasons Matt Eberflus needs to be gone. is because he is the furthest thing from a leader. He can't command anybody. I don't think he even has respect or command of the locker room at all. So that's the one thing we need to get in the building at this point, which is some damn leadership. All right, now let's talk about Chase Claypool and whether or not it makes sense for the Chicago Bears to trade him. Look, if you have followed my channel, you should know by now that I thought Chase Claypool was going to be a huge plus for the Bears. I even had him as my breakout player for the Bears this year. Full transparency, here to eat crow. That looks terrible. Probably not going to turn around at this point. And it is what it is. Chase Claypool has been bad with the Chicago Bears. Now, we all know that the Bears have a lot of of issues, not just Chase Claypool. The coaching's been bad. He has been put in a position to succeed, but he made comments earlier this week that he probably shouldn't have made, which is the Bears coaches are not putting him in position to succeed. He basically said no to that question, right? Him being asked, hey, do you think you're being put in a position to succeed? And he said no, flat out no. Look, even if it's true, Chase, you can't say it. It's just bad for locker room chemistry, team morale, and you get all that. So that was the problem. And on the field, Chase Claypool has not produced much. He had a touchdown this year, this season, and that was good. But other than that, really hasn't flashed much. Poor blocking. We saw Equinemius St. Brown come in the game today, make some contested tough catches. Chase Claypool hasn't been able to do that. He's had some 50-50 balls thrown his way. Hasn't been able to come down with those. So the qualities that Chase Claypool brings to your team as a big body wide receiver that can go up and get 50-50 balls, he hasn't been able to do that. Hasn't been able to do that. And so I don't think it's the wrong thing for the Bears to go out and look to see what you can get from Chase Claypool. But at this point, you're not getting what you gave up to get him. You're not getting end of the first round pick, right? A 30-second pick, which is what you gave up to acquire him. But let me ask you this. Would you trade Chase Claypool for a mid-round pick? Right? I don't even know. Could you get a third, fourth for Chase Claypool or a fifth at this point? Is that what you're going to get? 
would you rather get one of those or would you rather take the chance and hey I know the offense looked better without Chase today but he is still one of your talented receivers get him back in the building get his head on right make sure that he knows what's at stake here and give him another shot and hopefully he turns it around and becomes your third best receiver which is what he was brought here to do See, at this point, a fifth-round pick, which is probably what you get for Chase Claypool, a fourth, fifth-round pick, it's not changing much. Heck, Chase Claypool could literally be cut, and you might not get nothing for him. So why not try to get him and his head on straight and get him to positively contribute to the team? I'd love for that to happen. Unfortunately, we don't have the leadership in place here with Eberflus and the coaching staff. So ultimately, I think Chase Claypool, his career in Chicago is looking very bleak and he probably will get traded and or cut. But I wish it wasn't the case because the kid has talent. You just don't have the proper structure in place to go ahead and utilize it. It's a sad outcome of what's been so far a sad season. Let's see what happens. Regardless, wish Chase Claypool the best of luck, but uh, it is what it is at this point. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below as always.